Well, I'm just going to say it's been a pleasure <laughs> to meet Antonella Nobilio. She's come all the way from Italy, where the Maha Chohan's Advanced School is found. You can put those two ideas together. <laughs> uh, we were going to have uh, her and have uh, Philip come here when we were doing the first ray, but then something about the third ray just became really, really necessary because she has a, a great third ray understanding of things. And the title is? And the title is Planning the New Solar Culture and Human Order. Okay, Antonella, we are so happy to have you here, and it's your turn. So, it's a great joy to be here, and uh, I really feel at home. Maybe it must be the sixth ray of the soul of Italy and the sixth ray of USA. I don't know, but we are a, a unique family. We, we are, uh, as uh, Michael, we are the same thing or the same being. So let's chat a bit about the plan and about the purpose. So what I'm presenting here today is um, the vision and experience of the group of minds and hearts, which have been working since the 80s on the combination between the teaching of the seven rays, Blavatsky, Rurik, and so on. Not and so on, the three mainly of them. <laughs> the Pythagorean science of harmonics, the abstract idealism of the world of ideas of Plato, and the science of cycles in the solar system, also from a heliocentric perspective. The whole oriented to a possible formulation of the evolutionary plan and the formation of a prototype on subjective level for a human planetary order towards the progressive identification with the hierarchical model. So big words, but let's uh, do one step after the other. So the main part of this group working works uh, subjectively, yet uh, since 2012, you can find some objective work on this website, theplanetarysystem.org, dedicated to the sowing of ideas, formulas, and forms for a new culture and civilization. Okay, so and the title, Planning the New Solar Culture and Human Order on Earth towards a planetary order prototype. So this perspective could be um, really a third seventh ray expression, as you will see. And uh, as Michael said, Italy in the set of the nations, which the case says on the R, the nations are the objective expression of the races, sub-races, branch races. Um, Italy hosted the third ray mysteries, so on the line of March on, and is supposed to host the third ray advanced school. Okay, so let's start with some formulas. There is a plan of evolution for humanity, we know. This plan brings into being a planetary purpose. The new culture is the cyclic manifestation of the planetary plan. So we have purpose, plan, culture. And let, uh, let us consider these living realities as ideas or living energies, as they are, in order to grasp their rapport. The purpose, directed will, the power aspect, is impressed on the planetary field, the living space of love. And the relationship or rapport between the purpose and the field is the plan of love and light. That is, the love and light of the planetary purpose magnetizing love and illuminating light, the planetary field. The working out of the plan, its cyclic manifestation, is the new culture towards the re-establishment of the order on Earth. This is the wonderful front door of the Madeleine Church in Venice. Very Masonic. So in the great invocation we have after the three stanzas of light, love and willpower, 
our human for stanza and the completion. Let the plan of love and light work out. Let light and love and power re restore the plan on Earth. We know that the plan of evolution for humanity is part of a more general planetary plan, inscribed in turn in a solar, cosmic, and ultimately universal plan. As the fourth stanza asserts, the working out of the planetary plan depends on human consciousness, which progressively learns to become more responsive or responsible to it. Yet the plan is set up and constituted, we have a share in the last days, by the energy or, of higher beings and consciousnesses. We are told, in fact, that in this hierarchy of beings, indicated as the rulers of human evolution and of the other kingdoms of nature, there are two major sections. One is defined as the custodia custodians or executors of the plan, and the other as the creative contemplatives of the planet, those lives and energies receiving and transmitting the planetary purpose. So the plan of evolution, according to the teachings, is in essence the substantial energy or energized substance of the planetary purpose and of its registrants. It is their magnetic love and creative light energy. And here is another important and beautiful indication. God's purpose and his plans are fixed a man can read the form. The plan takes form. The plan is form. Its purpose is the revelation of the mind of God. So accordingly, so that the purpose fixed by the mind of our, of our planetary logos can be revealed on Earth, it's evidently necessary that humanity, the center of awareness, expands progressively its capacity for vision of the plan, vision, the light aspect, its inclusiveness, the love aspect, and its identification, the power aspect, with the whole. Here it is in uh, the Tibetan master's words. There will be those on earth who can vision the plan with clarity and whose vision will be far more inclusive and comprehending than ours. Ours is the must, are the master. Vision is of the nature of divinity. Expansion is a vital power and prerogative of deity. Therefore, let us struggle to grasp what is possible at our particular stage of development and leave eternity to reveal its hidden secrets. And we know that it is only by activating our fundamental will to good that we can connect to the substantial energy of the planetary plan and thus serve in group consciousness the higher purpose and will. It is our united will to good that can deepen the vision of the hierarchical plan. It must be God. <laughs> Through the light of the mind expanded by love, in order to learn to cooperate more and more consciously with it. Here are the quotes, the wonderful quotes, about the substantial energy and energized substance of the plan. The plan constitutes or is composed of the substance in which the members of the hierarchy consistently work. The plan is substance. It is essentially substantial energy. And energy is, is substance and nothing else. The substance, which is the plan, is dynamic in nature and is therefore impregnated with the energy of will. The plan constitutes a reservoir of energized substance held in solution by the will of Sanakumara and embodying his intangible purpose. It is this planetary substance upon which the impressing agents must draw their Nimanakayas, the members of the hierarchy, and the working disciples of the world, plus all spiritual sensitives of a certain degree. 
Recipients of the desired impression must become sensitive to this substantial energy. And here we are, try to. And another great invocation of the rapport between plan and purpose. Purpose cannot be understood until the plan is followed. That purpose which the masters know and serve. So the group of war servers can progressively understand the purpose by following, following the hierarchical plan that is becoming sensitive, cap capable to follow, to its substantial energy or to resonate, as the science of harmonics would say. And uh, according to the astrological astronomical key to, of the mysteries, it's seeing the pattern in the sky. Yesterday in the workshop of Jocelyn, she quotes this wonderful passage from Esoteric Psychology 2, 168. Look from outside window with her and see the pattern in the skies, the model of the plan, the color and the beauty of the whole. Weave in the light of day, weave as you see the plan. So we are called to follow the hierarchical plan by uniting in the name of the will to go and hence expanding our, our consciousness and thus visioning the plan with increasing clarity. The plan is form. Thus its form has and is an archetype, as all forms are descending from the world of ideas, is an archetype in the fiery world of ideas, a fiery substantial energy and energized substance, which follows the hierarchical model. So, and how is the hierarchical model? We know, but let's uh, share together this wonderful quote. The hierarchy works, as you know, in or through three major departments each possessing its full personnel and under three great lords. The hierarchy works also through the seven major ashrams and their affiliated ashrams. And these seven, which are the 49, represent in their totality the seven rays with their sub-rays and are the custodians, transmitters and dis distributors of the seven ray energies to the seven planetary centers and via these seven centers to those in the fourth kingdom of nature as they gradually unfold over the eons and then via these to the seven centers in individual men. Such is the synthesis. So let us focus on this hierarchical 13749 model and order and try to apply it to a formulation, a possible formulation of the evolutionary plan and culture. Indeed, we can assert that the will to good of the group of world servers attested on causal level is progressively working out the plan of love and light by visioning, nourishing, and establishing a prototype of a hierarchical humanity that will usher into a new planetary culture and order, a human system of systems in imitation of the higher orders. Here is a, re a relevant quote from the treatise of Cosmifier. The immediate objective of the human kingdom is consciously to establish systemic relations and be actively and consciously, again, part of group work. By the way, system is from late Latin and Greek systema, an arrangement, an organized whole, from sin together, plus the root of histanai, cause to stand, from the Proto-Indo-European root, sta, expressing the idea of standing firm. So the etymosophy, let's say, etymosophy is like the wisdom of the etymon. The etymosophy result, the wisdom of the etymos. A system is a sturdy composition of elements. And here I quote from Agni Yoga, the universe is a sy system of arts. The cooperative system is the soul salvation. 
We can infer that the form of the plan must be systemic. An order, composition, and likewise the Aquarian hierarchical humanity. The opportunity offered for the first millennium, um, for the first decanate of Aquarius ruled by Saturn third ray, is to establish conscious systemic relations in imitation of the hierarchical principle and ashrams. This might be seen as a scientific and organizing fifth and seventh rays way for the new group of war servers to follow, to follow the hierarchical plan and realize the Aquarian group consciousness and group initiation through harmonic and golden relationships. Is this an Aquarian way to irradiate the evolutionary plan? We think it is. <laughs> Some quotes between the passage from Piscean to Aquarian ages. The sixth ray promoted the growth of the spirit of individualism. Groups exist, but they are groups of individuals gathered around an individual. The seventh ray will foster the group spirit and the rhythm of the group, the objectives of the group, and the ritual working of the group will be the basic phenomena. Okay, let's focus on now on the hierarchical model, 1379. All tri triplicities subdivide into septenates, yet preserve their identity from esoteric astrology, 595. Let's see. The hierarchical principle, uh, this is a quote at the bottom from Tritizo Cosmic Fire, is essentially the one free direction. Oh, sorry, not uh, the quote yet. The hier hierarchical principle is essentially the one free seven direction. The one emanates three aspects. And the possible correlation of the three is seven. Six centers plus the syn synthetic center, which is a three, a trium three. The three, this is the quote, the three by an arrangement of internal groupings show seven groups or six permutations, and the seventh, a synthesis in which the three are equal. <coughs> Isn't it mysteric, mysteriosophic? <laughs> a quote from Madame Blavatsky. By the six, six directions of space, is here meant the double triangle, the junction and blending together of pure spirit and matter, of the arupa and the rupa, of which the triangles are a symbol. This double triangle is a sign of Vishnu, as it is Solomon's seal and the Shri Antara of the Brahmins. Here is an application to us. So, each of us is a unit in the center, and we have six directions. The vertical, above and below, the front and behind, and the right and left. The hierarchical seven rays of life are impressed into the 12 love petals of space, if we consider it the valley between the six vertexes of the six-pointed star. Um, so this hierarchical seven rays of life are impressed into this field of the 12 love petals of space, the number of the heart the, of the zodiac and the completion phases of each cycle. In order to put so seven into the 12, in order to produce the golden and harmonic evolution of consciousness. We could say in a poetic synthesis, life rules space through seven centers along 12 directions. The seven is at the center of the twelve. The three is at the center of the seven. The one is at the center of the three. The infinite is at the center of the one life. So the six-pointed and seven-center star, or star of life, is the sun of the triad and is included in the perfect form of number six, or hexagon, 
and counts 12 equilateral triangles or 12 points around the center. Again, the zodiac, the 12 disciples or knights of the round table of King Gaffer, the 12 petals of the heart, and constitutes the basic lattice of the spatial matrix, the intelligent substance. So let's do a funny yet serious intermission with uh, this part of the video by the quantum gravity project you can find in online that illustrates as the hexagonal pattern lattice veils the spatial matrix, the substantial energy and the energized substance, revealing itself as the most economical way, least effort, best results, to organize matter, plants, life. So in the video, you, you will, will hear its name as the densest packing. Imagine circles, all of them the same size. We draw them on a piece of paper stacked in the densest possible way that one can stack circles of the same size. This happens to be called hexagonal packing, by the way. Now, let's put a little point in the center of every one of these circles. And now, let's get rid of the circles and leave only their center points. So now, we have something called a point space. This point space is one that represents the densest packing of two-dimensional circles of the same size, right? Now, let's talk about the densest packing of 3D circles, or spheres. Again, all of them of the exact same size. P.S. We're totally pretending that these oranges are perfect spheres of the exact same size. So, the densest packing of 3D spheres is actually pretty intuitive to us. It's how we pack oranges in the supermarket. By the way, this is kind of weird, but it was only in 2014 that someone was finally able to prove mathematically that this packing of 3D spheres is actually the densest. Weird, right? It was like this big mysterious problem for years of mathematics that nobody was able to prove. Now let's add points in the centers of all of our spheres while they're in this dense arrangement. And again, let's get rid of all of the spheres and keep only the points that represent their centers. Okay, so now we're left with the point space representing the densest packing of three-dimensional spheres. So far, so good, right? Y'all with me? Okay, so E8 is the point space representing yeah. the densest packing of 8D spheres. You can check better online the rest of the video, which is very, very beautiful and intelligent. So this most economical way of the spatial matrix, the third aspect, corresponds in the second aspect of consciousness to the most harmonious or harmonic relationships established by the laws of attraction, the law of attraction and the seven qualities or rays and for the first aspect of reality to the most powerful, so the most economical, the most harmonious, the most powerful and synthetic way for life to conquer space. One, three, seven, or the two triangles, or the six-pointed star with seven centers, or as in this um, solid, the, the two theta, theta, tre, tetrahedrons, yeah. <laughs> Tetrahedrons, okay. So, um, this is a living psychic geometry. Um, is, uh, this double tetrahedron include, is included in a cube. And we know from Plato that uh, tetrahedron is fire. So it's two fire into earth, into one atom of earth. Okay. Here they are cube, tetrahedrons, and also octahedron, uniting the center of each square face. So we have really the perfect platonic solid in, in this pattern. And more here, from the triangle to the star of life, to the cube. Okay. So we can imitate the hierarchical model in every aspect and activity of our group working, thinking, planning, and being. We can take the opportunity, Saturn, 
to be a harmonic unity, a hierarchical humanity, through a common vision and heart embodiment of the substantial energy of form of the planetary plan. So, as a hierarchical humanity is like to say, a systemic group of world service. And here is the famous flower of life. So in synthesis, mankind can and will coordinate and organize its right relationships through the hierarchical or systemic structure of the natural cosmic harmony and order, precipitating the form of the plan and its free constituent energies, purpose or directive will, love and light. So now, let's apply this to the form of the plan and its possible formulation according to this hierarchical and cosmic level. In this respect, a first uh, systemic formulation of the 49 plan goals has emerged at the right time in the last quarter of the 20th century, which imitates the hierarchical model in order to sow causally the harmonic prototype of the future sevenfold order of the human center, as well as the foundation of the new world culture. In this first formulation, the star of life of the main seven, mm, the seven main goals or directions of the planetary plan inferred from the teachings and associated to the seven rays order are first ray, restoration of the mysteries, second ray, return of the Christ, third ray, group initiation, fourth ray, imitation of the hierarchy, fifth ray, new culture and new civilization, sixth ray, new world religion, seventh ray, order, restoration of the plan on earth. So here are some symbols to represent the 13749 hierarchical model projecting the heavenly double triangle of Vishnu on Earth, squaring the circle, so to speak, through this pattern called Lambdoma, the square at index 7 with 49 units. The Lambdoma comes from a reversed V from the Greek 11th letter Lambda which for Plato constituted the process of, uh, quote, the process of generation of the world soul from the undifferentiated unity or oneness into the di diad, di diad or twiceness. So the one into two and three, towards the tet tetractis, the perfection. The lambda recalls the compass of Saturn in the Masonic symbol, so the square, Venus, and compass, or the mind. So the lambdoma is the Pythagorean square in the circle, a magic matrix to precipitate an idea into harmonic or other thought form, or a form or a form, sorry, thought form or a form, or to abstract f um, from a perfect form to its essential idea, through and by its seven main centers and their 42 secondary centers, which irradiate the three fundamental energies of the one original idea. So we are just applying to the thought, to the way of thinking, one is the idea, taken from the world of ideas, ha has three fundamental energies. Let's find the seven main centers and then split into the 42. So we can have an integrate um, system of uh, parts to uh, precipitate an idea into form or backwards from to go back from a form to its essential idea. It's very third of seven three. Analogously, we have the main seven centers and the minor 42 of any conscious being in expression, be it an organism, a project, an ashram, a human or cosmic order and system. So here is another way to represent the anchoring of a higher seven 
into the 49, into a plan, a plane of 49. The octahedron of the seven ray centers and their crosses into the 49 mm, fires matrix. Here we are at the actual formulation or the table of the plan. The possible formulation of the planetary plan into 49 goals, 49 go vortex vortexes or goals or centers or fires of the substantial energy and energized substance of the plan. Of course, is the first attempt and uh, each of us and uh, each group or each nation uh, can uh, give its own formulation and just change, but the fact that the uh, interval 1, 2, side the 1, 1, and the symmetrical 2, 1, we have to take the rays 1, 2 and just build a formula which is consistent to these rays. So here the um, writer of this first hypothesis, which uh, is Enzio Savoini, a great disciple which passed on 2004, um, he just uh, wrote uh, according also to the octave interval, which is corresponding to the ratio 1, 2. It's just octave is a note and it's a octave, higher octave. So it's like uh, a circular space and it's common good study of divine space. It's very logical. But we can also use other forms, other words but the principle is the same. And for example, to one, teaching of initiation, esotericism of space. You can see how these goals are mm, on higher mental level. So it's um, an attempt to fix on that level the possible 49 substantial energy vortex of this idea of the plan, of the hierarchical plan. In the workshop, we can go into these 49 mm, goals. <coughs> so the first three central goals, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3, 3, the higher triangle of the star of life, are obviously of a more causal and hierarchical level, while from the fifth one downwards, the lower triangle, are listed the directions of esterilization of the evolutionary plan, which entail humanity as a direct impressing agent. In imitation and uh, in uh, a coordinated cooperation with uh, hierarchical executors of the plan. The formula from Ele Elena Röhrig for hierarchy is uh, a coordina coordinated cooperation towards the goal. <laughs> towards the purpose. There is a text which presents this working hypothesis based on the science of harmonics called The Distant Goals, published in Italian so far, but you can find on TPS English blog uh, these 49 goals and functions of a harmonic system presented in the document. In the main menu, there is document um, and uh, it's called asserting the planetary plan. And the, goal, the 42 goals are um, paired associated uh, as polarities. So in, you can use this pattern of the 49 to infer everything, an idea, um, or in, in this example is um, 42 rows of the functionaries of this harmonic system, be it a group of servers, of nations, of humanity, um, we will pursue further in the workshop. How much? 60 minutes, okay. Or another um, application we have been working on is this table of 49 years, and it's um, a great coincidence that this uh, systemic application of this pattern began just in 1987, just as the USR conference or group. And um, 
So the cycle of this current experiment and formulation of the plan in 49 years, from 1987 till 2035, <coughs> is, uh, as you will see, is a shifted of two septennium in respect to the six initiations masters one. We know that um, the last one started in 2001, and we'll see it's crucial for four central year in 2025. Here is a resonance um, case. So here is the table with the fifth cross highlighted it as of from 2015 to 2021 is the time space of its fifth septennial of the current experimentation. So now 2019 is the time to work on the goal 5.5, new culture and civilization, which is one of the seven main. So um, also for the group, which uh, consistently work each year on one goal, it's uh, a goal, of, it's um, an year of synthesis. And I think it's not casual, but causal at that time here to present this. So just as a quick feedback, we saw special events and this unison, unison is the interval first ray, central diagonal ears, like now 5.5. Five. And likewise at the doors and cornerstones, ears of this subjectively heavenly city or thought form. And uh, for example, after being occult or intimate for the first 25 years of the initial group life, the project of TPS was born in the 4-5 goal in 2012. So the fifth year of the fourth septennium, fourth septennium dedicated to the imitation of hierarchy, to the model, and the fifth, preparing the fifth septennium. So it just came. And we are trying to consciously uh, follow the inner laws of the cycle, of the pattern, of the hierarchical pattern. So, and the formula of the four and five goal is a creation of models of social life. And here is, for example, the application to the idea of the new idea or formula. In the words of Enzio, uh, a formula is an association of ideas, association of energies like A plus B equals C. This is a formula. Instead, the ideas are pure energies. <coughs> or beings. Um, so this is the application to the idea placed um, there as a zero zero uh, causing impulse. Um, and we just uh, reason on seven main um, activity sectors of uh, human culture. So first rate government, second rate education, third rate economy, fourth rate art, fifth rate science, sixth rate communication. Instead of religion, we can think that uh, communication now is the true field of religion to communicate to people is, a, is really the way to, to unite. The, and the internet is really the manifestation of this um, etheric and telepathic metric, common metrics between humanity, in humanity. Seven Frey organization. There is a similarity with the seed groups, um, and every group and perspective can elaborate more and differently, it's just a high hypothesis. We have put on the on the seven rows, the seven field or the seven rays, the purpose, field of service, plan, model, manifestation, community order. And we have put three triplets of verbs of, of rays just to infer what formula, what is the purpose of the new government, one one, being a source of freedom. What is the field of service of the new education is to attract to the wisdom of heaven. What is the plan for the new economy, which is the new planetary economy, is 
not uh, finance and so on, is designing the planetary economy, the, the best way to administrate the common house, and so on. Reflecting the harmony of cosmos is the model of the reference of the new planetary art and uh, the manifestation of the science working to build a new thought. The community of the um, new planetary communication of the ideas, the values, is guarding the flame of truth. Communication has to do that. And the new planetary organization has to irradiate the order of the new culture. Anyway, we can, this material you, you can find on TPS and, and we, yeah, as I said in the workshop, we can um, analyze it and, okay. So we have taken the fifth, fi fifth five, five goal and formula and uh, we have split it into 49. Okay, and uh, practically, in the group, each of us has chosen one of the 42 positions in the Lambdoma or the plan. Let's go back. Yeah. And has taken responsibility for its vortex of substantial energy, and so tries to be it in the here and now, as if, of course, of course, because they, these are goals... Uh, of the soul, but we, we try our best. And in particular, this, um, this ER55, we saw and saturate space with the relevant formulas of this lambdoma, of this lambdoma of the new culture, asserting them each day and activating them when a corresponding alignment between the same ray planets or stars occur in the heaven. Again, a seven, really seven fray mode of work, of working. So, why this formulation of the plan? Why this systemic effort of embodiment of the hierarchical model? Why this abstract thinking and medit action, meditation through formulas or association of ideas? So, here is a possible answer from Agni Yoga. The saturation of space with formulas which clarify the teaching will result in great effects. Thus do we affirm the manifestation of the new world. Thus is the manifestation of the predestined being brought about. So according to the indication of the teaching, this work of ideal composition at the level of causes, higher mental, must be constantly loved and held in the light through the creative imagination, astral level, as well as vitalized in the third eye, etheric level. So we, have we are trying to do this, as the Treatise of Cosmic Fire suggests, this technique. So, with united breath and unified rhythm with the higher septenates and in agreement with the heavenly cycle. We have uh, seen in the pre-conference, uh, I've presented these solar psychogeometries of the planet which show this wonderful, um, the star of five, the star of six, the star of four or square, the triangle, just between their conjunctions. So Saturn, Vulcan first ray, Saturn third ray, Jupiter second ray, each 60 years unite and build a triangle or Uranus and Neptune the square or the continuous cycle of Saturn and, and, and Jupiter build a five-pointed star. So it's really the pattern of the plan is in the skies. It's not only vague or it's not only on um, causal level, it's visible or at least it's inferable. I don't know if in English exists such a word, but you can infer it from this 
um, cyclic spirals in the heavens. So we can know when and what to sow, which uh, is exactly what Plato used to teach in uh, his academy. You have to know why, when, what, and how to think or to do anything. This is the art of thinking. So in the right date, we try to sow the relevant uh, quantum of energies of that conjunction. For example, Venus is in conjunction with Neptune today heliocentrically, so fifth ray, sixth ray, just about that. And we have taken the formulas 5, 6 and 6, 5 from the Lambdoma of New Culture, just because we are living that uh, goal uh, or vortex. And all the group saw this impulse in the general mentality of uh, humanity. And in due time, as thought is a creative power, and uh, as sound is the first creative agent of Akasha, of space, as Blavatsky said, we know that these sounds, this music, these sparkles of light will usher in uh, forms in due time. And this has to be done in group. And it's not the more we are to do that, the more effective. It's just uh, not the more. It's the more uh, magnetic and creative is our intention and our mm, commitment. The more or the more accelerated this process will cause the relevant forms in and usher in the new culture and civilization. So you see that it's really um, on the abstract idealism way of uh, serve the plan. And it's uh, consistent with our six ray soul of Italy. But we are not only Italian now, we are a, an international core. So it's not of Italy. This thing is not, fro it's not from Italy. It's from the third ray, maybe monadic ray, or at least of the seed of the advanced school um, which will uh, be in Italy. It maybe is coming from some level or the causal level. And uh, we are just trying to do what is our mission for the world. And this mi our mission is to cut the paths. And the paths are directions, directions of thought. And we are trying to do that. Uh, the most scientifically and um, orderly way we can. <coughs> okay. So, the art of composing the causes of the future follows the art of creation of ideas in the world of fire and is the art of building the evolutionary formulas and thought forms that imitate it. So the incarnated human soul will progressively learn and go through this higher art in order to fix the new aquarium prototypes. Fix, fifth ray, sub-law, or the main law of attraction. To fix on the fiery world of the mental, higher mental, to fix the new aquarium prototypes. So the fourth human hierarchy is a coordinated cooperation toward, toward a common goal and is increasingly externalizing in order to assert and restore the divine plan on Earth through the new solar culture. Let's go on uh, in the workshop. Thank you.